Welcome back to the Belt Off Podcast. Top 10 martial arts in the United States. This might shock you. Coming in at number 10 is Krav Maga with 2.3% of gyms in the United States. Any uh, Anything like... Details like is this kids, is this adults in general? Just how many locations are Gym inside locations. the United States? Two point three million Krav Maga. Uh, two point three percent out of oh, the hundred percent. Yeah, so I we'll did be that going for a little bit. Like, did you did Krav? I did. What'd you think? Yeah, it was all right. I, I didn't stick with. What did you What did you do? It's like shitty kickboxing with yeah, eye pokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, but I, I I disagree because does wasn't it the the. Uh, what military? It was somebody's Israeli. Mili- mm. Israeli military system's got to be dope. It's more like self-defense. It's got to be dope. So here's what happened. It's like boot camp, uh, hand-to-hand combat for Israeli. It's more of a mindset than any techniques. When they brought it to the United States, they marketed it as a self-defense program, and it goes all over the place. So okay. uh, they marketed it to, you know, house moms and that sort of thing. And okay. So it goes across the board. Sure, you can find some legit Krav Maga places. Heck yeah, you can. But the majority of it is commercialized. Okay. Yeah. I okay. remember being more self-defense. Was your place cool? Yeah, it was cool. They did they did kickboxing, Muay Thai, shit yeah. like that. But uh, like I just came in and the dude looked at me. He's like, I think you would be good for this. And I was like, okay. So I just I looked at you. Yeah. And, Take uh, my money. Yeah, I, I, I remember, I'm in. <laughs> I remember one time I showed up and they had like six people around me, all with pads, and I uh, they spun me in a circle to where I was like drunk, dizzy, dizzy and shit, and then they just attacked me and I died. You know, Crazy. Come out with the end. They're larping. Oh, oh. Oh. Role yeah. play, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, this one shocked me. Coming in at number nine, just above Kramaga with two point four percent of the gyms is Muay Thai. Huh. That's that low? That I think low. that would be I would have thought it would have yeah. been higher, man. Bummed. So now, are they doing that thing where they're separating Muay Thai from kickboxing? And they saying, are. Okay. And I have you, videos on this you had explaining that, that right. Krav Maga, or not Krav Maga, but Muay Thai is kickboxing. Kickboxing is any standing martial art using your hands, feet, and more. Where the common misconception happens is back in the 60s and 70s, it became its own martial art and a sport where they introduced Muay Thai and karate, yes, so that they could compete together. So most people think of like glory and K1 when they think of kickboxing, but uh, kickboxing has been a relative term going, yeah. Oh, you wanna go play? Okay, yes. We're... Oh yeah, you wanna sing? Yeah. We can sing later, okay? Oh, he wants to sing. <laughs> he wants to sing. Uh, but yeah, so it goes back thousands of years. Kickboxing was a term that's been translated just meaning strikes okay. with your hands, feet, and more. There's headbutts. So it's a elbows. semantics issue, but it we is. clearly do. We clearly have kickboxing, then we have Muay Thai, and yeah. then they're different. Yep, right? just so. because of the way that sports have right. gone. And Muay Thai is number nine, man. Number nine. Guess what? Hmm. Uh, well, here we go. What beat it? At 2.5% of the gyms, topping Muay Thai is Aikido. Wow. There are more Aikido so gyms than So disappointed in you, <laughs> the United States of what America. What is going on, U.S.? Oh, I feel like Aikido was that one martial art, though, that I I heard about growing up. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Wasn't so much Muay Thai. Like, I didn't hear that's a lot true. about Muay I, that's Thai, true. right? If we look like, at I heard about Aikido. I never right? heard about Muay Thai. One's probably shink, shrinking and Dad. one's probably growing. Yes, uh, don't touch. on. Yes, on. that is on. That's right, buddy. All right, and just above uh, Aikido at 3.5 is Kung Fu. Okay. Now, what style of Kung Fu? Kung Fu goes across the board, kind of like kickboxing does. Uh, so, whether it's Kung, Kung, Kung Fu Mantis, is. Kung Fu. If you go to... Who's the guy that's, that's famous for Kung Fu? The famous guy, isn't it? Oh. Bruce Lee. Yeah, but that's, that's Kung Fu, right? He also made... JKD. Oh, that's G- what I'm thinking G- of. Jeet Kune Do. Which is so the distilled Fu. version of Kung Fu. Is that separately on the list somewhere else or no? G- JKD. It is not. JKD so did I'll, not actually make the list. I'm thinking Kung Fu is the JKD guys then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. And then at 4.1% of the videos is finally kickboxing. Okay. And that came in at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number okay. 6 is kickboxing. So now we're starting to get it, but it's still only 4.1%. Yeah. yeah. 
Interesting. So, all right. Uh, getting a little higher on the list is MMA gyms. Yeah, four point seven percent. That's going to go up too. That's, and that that's comes on in the rise. At number five, MMA. Nope. Okay, so let's guess. I yeah. want to guess. Let's make sure. Some. Let's let's hear because what we is, got we got four left. We got four left. And, and and martial arts. I mean, what do you think, man? Box straight boxing has got to be in the top four. I'm, I'm saying, but I would go easily boxing top. I probably one, one, two, or three. I'm guessing. Right. I would be my guess. I'm gonna be so heartbroken if jujitsu's not even on the list, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna it's go. I'm gonna go with jujitsu yeah. because of because of youth. Because of youth, I'm gonna go with jujitsu. Is is I'm gonna okay. guess jujitsu is number three. Uh, Boxing, I'm gonna guess is I'm gonna say one. No, I'm I'm going taekwondo number one, karate number two, jujitsu number three, and number four I have freaking don't know. Dylan, what you got for number four? Karate. Yeah. Boxing. boxing. I'll go yeah. box. I'll go boxing four. Karate, number four. Karate two, taekwondo. Th- or we'll one. get through. Forgot about taekwondo. Number four is not boxing. Number four is taekwondo. Man. Taekwondo coming in. I thought in that would be like first. But. At thirteen point one percent, so a giant jump up right. from MMA. Right. Big jump. Four point seven. So, yeah. Huge okay. Jump. Now number three. Who you guys got? I'm going, uh, I'm going karate. Yeah, I would say. No, karate, karate is probably karate. one then. Jiu-jitsu. Who you got? Ross. I'm going to go karate. Who you got? Number three. I'm going to say boxing. Or judo. Judo did not make the list. That's a shame, bro. That is a shame. Uh, I believe they were 11 or 12. Number three at 14%, so a hair above taekwondo is karate. Okay. You, you were right. And if there was a distilled version between, you know, adults and kids, this list would probably be drastically different. Big time. Yeah. Number two. So we have not mentioned our beloved jujitsu yet. Right. It's got to be number one. So now. we're still waiting on jujitsu. And we have jiu-jitsu. not covered boxing. We haven't covered. Well, we. Mentioned yep. that judo was not on the list. Jake E.D. not on the list. Who is number two okay, in the on. United States of America? I'm, I'm saying um, I'm going jiu-jitsu. It's two. Boxing is one. That's they're not one. even going to call wrestling martial arts, so I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, I'll go with jiu-jitsu. What do you got, Dylan? Jiu-jitsu is number one. <laughs> What's well, number two? I'll we'll say boxing. boxing. I'm going with boxing. Coming in at 19.8% of the gyms in the United States is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yes. So what took us out, bro, boxing? The number one at a whopping 26.1% of the gyms in the United States, which was very interesting to me because you do see a lot of these gyms, but they are predominantly adult driven and don't have that same kid clientele like a karate or taekwondo boxing right it is boxing boxing is more of an adult 6.1 percent which this list kind of shocked me judo did not make the list wrestling wasn't on it well, wrestling's not considered a martial art. I think it is. No, I oh, well, you don't get to choose. <laughs> <laughs> wrestling's not. I it's not it considered is. a martial art. There's no. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. but yeah, I, I can't believe judo's not on the list nowhere, man. I'm I am so surprised bummed. judo's not on the list. Gosh. I'm not surprised that bo- again. I I I I thought for sure boxing won, because again, going back thinking of in my childhood, boxing was the one known thing. That was super oh. heightened, highlighted, um, of your way out of any neighborhood, be a right, good boxer. Right, right. Right? Inner city stuff. That's like your streamline out, be a good boxer, get out. Yeah. So to that point, every city's got a boxing academy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. boxing is very prominent. Worst neighborhood, boxing academy. I would have I, I would have really thought Karate Kid would yeah. have had karate number one. Taekwondo, I would have put number two because they're marketing and stuff. Yeah. And then I would have thrown like a, a honestly like a judo. Yeah. I would have even put judo above jujitsu just because I thought it's been it's more well known. Mm. Like people sheer, know of judo. The sheer amount of kids that are in yeah. karate and taekwondo is what catapults. Yeah, it catapults yeah. it up. If we 
were to take out the kids' versions of Taekwondo and Karate, it would yeah. probably plummet to 20-something. For sure. And I think Jiu-Jitsu has got way more of a balance yeah. of adults and kids. Boxing has leans towards adults. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, Interesting. And like what you were saying, there's... Anytime we have an Olympic sport, we typically see more gyms because there's state funding and there's uh, nonprofits and organizations that lead to it. And that's probably why boxing is so high is because there's so many nonprofits. It's also a really, really cheap martial art to get into. Yeah. 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 yeah it doesn't cost much. At all. Not a lot of material that you need to invest in. Nope. Uh, nope. I'd say the training threshold for instructors is also a lot lower than some of the other martial arts like The training jiu-jitsu. threshold? Yeah, so how long it takes to get to a black belt before you can actually open a gym and teach, or hiring instructors. It's much easier to hire a boxing instructor than it is a jiu-jitsu instructor. Because of those numbers, yeah. because there's more boxing sure. gyms and, and jiu-jitsu, yeah. yeah, for sure. No, I think, I think uh, having expertise in boxing right is more common than like yeah. it's hard to find a jiu-jitsu black belt dude yeah it's hard jiu-jitsu black belts are not everywhere yeah. but to find somebody that would be considered expert boxer yeah more common for sure the amount of time that it takes to get to uh, a teachable level also is much less than a striking art right yeah. because teaching level is not expertise right you don't have to be a black belt to teach you and too you're refining something down to of course you have footwork and you have you know head and hand movement but it, yeah, it's it's very refined down, right? Whereas jujitsu, you could say that there's a, there's a lot more diversity, so therefore the learning curve should be greater mm-hmm. because of the diversity of movement. It is. It's like multi-dimensional depth, yeah. right? No shallow into that pool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. Number one is boxing. Jujitsu was number two, and we'll see you in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. Judah, nowhere on the list. Nowhere. I think it was 11 or 12. That's too bad, dude.